Isn't that music just... Dun, 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 dun. Seriously, I go back like 10 years in the past every time I hear this Juno music, no matter how many times. It just used to be on, on the TV, in my room, just constantly. I would just hear this in the background. Um, so, hey, we're back for another, uh, kind of like a day in the life of level 99. Trying to get 119 for my summoner, finish it out. I'm almost done. I'm actually going to pick up my second to last piece right now. The Relic Body 119. Look at that perpetuation cost down. I would have lost my mind back in the day if I saw that. So obviously I'm on blue right now. I can't equip it. Um, so I just need the pants. I just need the pants. I figured I, I've sort of done one of these, but I only did it from the perspective of um, just kind of getting the merits and doing the avatar battles, which isn't, A, the only way to do do that portion but I skipped the whole like you got to first upgrade the gear to 109 so um, probably gonna see some of that today is I, I got to get the uh, the high tier BCM fights which are, are a fun time um, I treated her I think all of my pieces so let's see I need the four <laughs> I'm talking talking nonsense I need the what are they called? Rems, Rems four pages. Um, I don't know why I can't talk. Chapters of Rems Tale. Rems Tale, page four and chapter four. So I got four. I need ten. So I might be able to get that in one go. Probably not. And then uh, nine, which I've got five of, and I need eight. I'm gonna, we might not see the end tonight, but I can at least put in for the BCNF. So. Um, I wanted to do these because, I, like I was saying last time, a, a lot of people, you know, I enjoy Final Fantasy XI for its nostalgic feel, but don't really know how the game uh, plays out right now. And obviously, there's still a, a serious depth of content, even if you've totally run dry everything that existed uh, from 2010-ish and before. But it's kind of, it's different in how it, it is. So now you've got these, these two guys, <laughs> Shimo and, and Shami. Who will um, trade me some some orbs so I can start getting some of these uh, these pages? Because the the lower pages, anything under five, to upgrade the artifact relic and um, abyssia gear to 109, come from these high tier BCNMs. And I actually got to check which one drops four. Sorry, we're gonna cut out of the music for a second as I load this up. Where do you come from? Oh, oh, Fei Yin. No. Quicksand Caves. What? But I have no idea how to get down there. All right, so we're going to see what we can do here. Um, I've actually, I can't remember the last time I went to this one. So the deal is, you do these uh, high tier BCNMs, you can trade Beastman Seals, Kindred Seals, Kindred Crests, all those um, into those guys, and they'll upgrade those at like a currency trade value to these sacred kindred crests which really are the only that matter now um and this macrocosmic orb is the one i'm most most familiar with so i'm heading out to the outpost warp <laughs> which is still sometimes the fastest way to get places i've got my coffee because i'm exhausted um I have to admit, I've gotten really lazy in my... Oh, this summer music. Sorry, I wasn't expecting it. That caught me off guard. The summer music, for some reason, even more so than the Juno that I just have a nostalgic moment, reminds me of being really young. Like, not... Not like oh, Final Fantasy XI, it reminds me of being like a kid. Mmm. I love those sounds. So... Nope. That's not what I wanted. Oh, that was an accident. <laughs> Rothfur is always up at the top here because uh, it was the re the the outpost that got me into outpost warping because I like had to go get that one because it was available one day and I was like um, I guess I really should figure this out because that would be so incredibly useful to be able to outpost warp my way out to Sandoria whenever I felt like it. So yeah, I mean you still have to after getting these pages. Um, buy certain items. Why is that music still playing? Does it play out here? Oh my gosh! Oh, I forgot. Yeah, because you can see like the Rabao. Rabao. <laughs> How did you guys say that one? I always, I said, um, 
Trust, where's my mount? Abilities, mount. Although I don't want to lose the music. I'm going to lose the music. Hmm, that's sad. So, what was I talking about? Uh, you still have to buy those, like, items, the job-specific items, and then... The other items. Just random uh, items, usually, to get to 119. Uh, so there's an entrance down here. Is it right at this little thing? Maybe. Let's try that. i have got to go in this entrance to get to the... The fight. Um, I totally forgot where this one was. When I loaded the screenshot on BG Wiki to see what it looked like, it totally looked like Fei In. And apparently it's not. Um, and there's a lot of missions that were here, so I guess I must have come here. But I don't remember it. That's for sure. I think I've had a few parties down here. Maybe it's like a desperate last ditch effort. And I think this is one of those spots where um, I am on the right side, right? Western? I always get kind of confused because you zone on the east side. I guess that makes sense. I'm confusing myself. Um, so you still have to buy some items to upgrade, and the artifact items are cheaper. Oh, I wonder if there's like a survival guide like right at the end here. Oh, this is not necessarily the one I thought it was going to be. Let's see. Hang on. Hang on now. Let's let's see where we are. Where, where have we entered into? Hmm. Quicksand caves. There was a, a bit of confusion. That was Eastern Alteba. Um, I felt I thought it felt weird. I was like, that is, this doesn't feel like the right, the right desert. Uh, we're gonna figure it out though. I think is there a zone to yeah right down here I can use. So I gotta head to Western Alteba Desert. So um, the upgrade process for those of you that don't know is I could take the artifact gear plus a bunch of these pages, then a few other random items. Now for the artifact upgrades, those items aren't very expensive. For the relic upgrades, they're incredibly expensive, which is interesting. Because as someone was so kind to let me know recently on the channel, my uh, my relic focused blue mage gear, which actually isn't even true, only one of those pieces is relic, is kind of crappy. So a lot of times the relic at 119 has slightly better options. Like for instance, the the body I just got for summoner. Oh, it must be in the inventory. This is the minus five perpetuation cost. Um, the artifact 119 has like I think a different uh, more standard blood pack ability to delay minus so I mean depending on what you're going for it might be better but this is as good as that relic body is ever gonna get you can upgrade oh my god I'm going in the wrong direction you can upgrade <laughs> I need to focus uh, I actually, you know what, now that I say that, I wonder if you can augment stuff. So, augmenting is something I have not gotten into, and you can do it to many pieces of gear, making them far superior than what they were before. And it's, uh, one of the main ways to, like, continue pushing even further beyond your limits at 119. The question is, how do you do it? Um, I really don't know most of how that process works. I know there's a couple different NPCs that kind of help you work on that, and there's some items you get from Eshka and some other places that kind of allow you to augment. So let me know in the comments if that seems, if that's like a difficult process. Um, what I was saying before is I've gotten kind of lazy in my Final Fantasy XI old age. If something seems like it's too complicated and I don't already know how to do it, sometimes I'm like, oh, I don't even really want to right now. I don't know if it's because I've played for so many years and it's, it's been so many years of figuring stuff out that <laughs> now if I have to figure out something new, it like it's kind of like really annoying. I'm like, oh, how do you mean there's something new? Like it's the best part about Final Fantasy XI is that in this day and age there is still stuff I don't understand about this game. Not even new stuff, like existing old content I don't fully get or I've just never done. But the laziness isn't good. I need to I need to get off my ass <laughs> and start doing better. So I'm mainly doing these BCMs right now, um, just to get the pages, so I can upgrade the artifact gear to 109, which I'll immediately almost have enough to upgrade to 119. Good, this popped me out down here. So I think the the entrance I want is like way over here. It's that like secret one. 
We're gonna find out. So yeah, this has kind of been like uh, what I've been doing. When I when I'm not working on 99s, of course I'm like leveling on something else or just messing around doing nostalgic videos. But when I'm working on my 99s, it's kind of been this process. Um, it was much harder before my Blue Mage was 119. As you can see, I'm like on my Blue Mage until my Summoner, which is I think 118 now with that last piece of gear. Yeah, it'll totally be 118 because I'm only missing one slot. Um, before that, it was kind of hard. It is a tough little jump to go from one of those bigger scorpions. No, to go from not 109 to 119. Er, sorry, from not anything to 119. Uh, you can obviously with the sparks gear buy like 117 set right away. There's also a bunch of 115 gear floating around in the game from back when that was like a bigger deal. Which I would say is one of the bigger problems with Final Fantasy XI as it stands right now, is it's basically 119 or nothing. And there's like a whole first stage of artifact that's 109. That could be amazing, but it's essentially useless because you can just buy Sparks 117 gear and you should probably be wearing those with the trust because the trusts are tied to your own skill. And that's what drives me nuts, is um, you basically have the Sparks gear and then you go for 119. I don't know. Just a little bit of a bummer. I miss, I miss the tiered progression of, uh, well, I, I miss <laughs> being able to use the amazing gear I had at 75 to get even more amazing gear, but that's a whole other story for a different day. So, um, yeah, so, like I was saying, somebody reminded me, made me aware, reminded, half, half a dozen one, whatever I'm saying, that you can continue to upgrade the artifact to plus two and plus three versions of the 119. The relic, you can't. You might be able to augment it, but um, you cannot do that. So I have a bad habit, and I've always been this way, although it's it's more noticeable now. Am I in the right spot? No, I gotta go one over one more. I think. I think? Yes. I'm gonna go with yes. Unless it's like right here. No, it's a thing below. What was I saying? Somebody remind me. Um, I have a super bad habit of assuming I'm only ever gonna make it to a certain point if like something is way harder. So to explain what that means, I mean like when I look at the 119 stuff, I'm like, oh, that's that's a certain level of difficulty, but I, I see a path to completion. It's not like a ridiculous amount of time. I'm not going to lose interest. I totally can see myself getting that. And then I'll look at like the next stage or like the relic weapons. Relic weapons are a perfect example. I never even remotely entertained the concept that I would get a relic weapon, mostly because I, I wouldn't be able to focus on one thing like that for that long. Oh, I thought that was an NM for a second. I was like, what is that? Um, which is a, I'll get into that in a minute, my, my level of focus. But I, I do that all the time where I assume I'm never going to go farther. So I'll, I'll do like short term benefits. Like, oh, right now, where's, where's this thing? This might be it. Nope, this is an empty room. <laughs> I'll do, uh, like what I'm doing right now. Where, you know, I, I upgraded the artifact and the relic based on, which of those pieces is better starting off? Not even looking at what's beyond that, because I'm like, I'm never gonna go beyond that. That's ridiculous. That's way too much effort. Which, I mean, could still be the case. But it is kind of weird that I like always do that, where I'm like, oh, I'll never get that particular piece of gear. I'll never go that far. So please tell me. Yes. Yes. Um, I need that map again. Not that one. That one. Um, but yeah, I used to do that all the time too, where I'd be like, oh. And my, my buddy Jared, who's been in a couple of the Game of the Week and some other videos, does this about like the game in general. But I used to have this where I'd be like, oh, I don't really want to level this because I don't have, like Monk. I don't want to level Monk because I don't have the Ochimusha Kote. Did that guy just attack me? What do you know? 
And, um... I mean, on the one side of that, I'd get super excited to level stuff when I had gear like that, because I'm like, oh, now I had that thing, so I'm totally going to level it. But, it was kind of a bummer. Jared got his Paladin to, like, 75, and then almost never touched it, because Paladin does suffer from a shield problem, where it's, uh, I don't even think I can sneak myself. I don't want to use the items. Well... How about this? I'll try to use it. Isn't it Mononomi or Monomi? There it is. Don't you? Oh my god. Wow, that sucks. Wasted. What were we talking about? And uh, so yeah, he didn't have the O-Chain. He didn't have... It's a shield Aegis? Aegis. And he basically hated his paladin. <laughs> it's, just like, it's, so, it's, it's useless. It's terrible without him. And that was a bummer, because his battle was cool. And he actually had really amazing gear for it, he just didn't have that particular slot. So he just kind of gave up on it for the most part. Open Sesame. Remember when this was like, you had to have eight people, eight Tars to open? It wasn't that long ago. And then I'm going off to the left. Okay. Left, left. Don't attack me. I guess I could just run. Gertab. Are you regular? I keep seeing monsters that I think are going to be notorious monsters. And they're not. Yeah, I'm just going to run. I'll, I'll cast a little warm-up. Oh, wait. I can, I can sleep these guys, too. I never have this stuff equipped, but I had it equipped for one of these fights, so I can do it. What were we talking about? Oh yeah, it's so cool back here. I remember this. Does anybody have any like translations or like lower explanations of this awesome wall down here? That's sky. It's a sky reference. Probably C. See. see ya. Um, right, and then there's this little section. Yeah, I remember this. Oh. Okay, so for the record. Whoops, Ichi. Oh well. I still don't mess with Savage Enders. Thousand Needles is not to be trifled with. You are going sleepies, my friend. And I am sneaking through. I'm tired of this. We're done. You see. Sleep. Look at that. Look at that booty. Um. That was weird. <laughs> what we're talking about? I don't know. Something about augments. Oh, Paladin. So yeah. Um, but I, I do kind of like similar. I have a similar thought process. Where if, if something's gonna take me a ridiculous amount of time, I'm like, I don't even know if I want to invest that much time in that one thing. So like thief. I had a 75 thief, and like probably should have been shooting for the the homo body. I think I go left up here. But I was like, oh, that, that would take so long. I'd have to do so many Limbus battles to with, like, groups of people that are, oh, there's a home point down here. I got to totally grab it. Um, so they did add all these crystals if they weren't here before. I really don't remember. Wrong one. So you can warp right to these once you've been here once, which is really convenient because, like, you come out to these fights so many times in a row. Homo body. All the other people that I was like playing with for that section, it would have been insanely long amount of time before I could have had a chance at it. But, but, I had no problem investing that much time in Final Fantasy XI in general. I would just compare it to like other things that I could do. I'd be like, oh, I could have the home body or like the home of hands if I worked like two months straight on just that. Or I could like level a couple jobs to 75 and have all these other like opportunities and options open up for me. And for me, it was always, that was like the comparison. I'm like, I think I'll do, I'll do normal. I hope I can take normal. I, I assume I can, I'm 119, but. Oh God, that makes me, freaks me out. So yeah, I mean, that's a weird way to look at it, but that's why I had so many 75s and so many jobs that were like on their way to 75, but so few jobs that were like really well geared. Um, I would always seek out things that I could work on little bits at a time 
like outside of stuff. Which I mean, the home of mining was a bad example because I Limus was one of the few things I got into because it could you could make progress with such a small time investment every week. It was like what, like an hour a week or something, two hours a week, split into two sessions. I don't remember what kind of thing we're fighting here. I hope Amchuchu was a good choice. Let's just do the usual. Zide 2, Shintoto 2, Koromaru, and Kabibi. I, I need to get a Puru back, but he will not come back to me. I don't know why. I gotta look into that. Uh, so yeah, I, I did that sort of thought process all the time. And that run hasn't, hasn't really changed, where I'm like, Am I really going to work on, like, the summoner plus two, plus three stuff? Maybe. We'll see. I didn't really think I'd have 119 at one point, so... You never know. But for now, I'm just not really thinking about it. So I got the, the best set I could do for... Perpetuation cost has always been my thing. I love being able to keep the avatars out permanently without worrying about it. Which one of these is, do you think is a black mage? That guy. I have done this fight. What did he start casting? Whatever it was, it's asleep. This is generally my process for these. Is I come in as Blue Mage, I sleep good stuff, and we, we burn him down. How, how dare you be awake? I've got Yawn and Dreamflower, and that's, that's my big magical process. Um, did, did I wake him up or something? Hmm. Well, regardless. These guys do seem to be taking a little bit... There we go. <laughs> I was like, why am I not doing as much damage as I would have thought? Alright, these guys are all awake. Is... I guess Dreamflower's not ready. Um... We'll take you because you don't seem to want to sleep. Even though I doubt you're the one to worry about. Oh, I'm silenced. <laughs> when did that happen? <laughs> That's why I hated this one. The pound and the warrior I could probably take down super easily. Oh man, it's I. He got wrecked, buddy. Did he just two hour? I bet he two hour. That's why you always save him for last because he tends to kill one of your people. <laughs> that was a bad attention though. I need to to efflux. Before I use this TV. Oh, don't love that. Man, these guys are really annoying. I'm not gonna lie, this is not going as smoothly as some of these fights have gone for me. Probably because they're freaking Anakin's. Yeah, we'll we'll do you next. Um, are, are people like asleep or petrified? Is that why we're struggling so much? Anywho, so this is this has been my 99 process. As soon as I found a, a little two-step thing to get some 119 gear with my favorite artifact and relic, like that's what I went for. Because there's other options. Um, Eshka, Eshka Zita, and Eshka Ruan Gardens. Um, I think I'm saying the one. Have some amazing 119 drops from uh, various like notorious monsters and stuff that can be really great and augmentable. And I have like a couple pieces. I'm where do I want my head? This is this is one. But they're not as easy to do solo, if even possible. I haven't I haven't done any solo. Um, so I go for the stuff that I can I can whittle away at in the little brief amount of time that I have each week to work on it. And that's basically it. Are you invincible? Is that what's going on here? No. You're not. And yeah. So it's been fun, I, cause I, you get a lot of these. Uh, it's a way for me to use my my beastman seals from from years gone by. Get some uh, some cool artifact upgrades, and I'm excited to see what I can do with my summoner that I couldn't do as blue mage, which probably isn't that much. Blue mage is pretty intense, but um, I miss summoner. Summoner, I I understood more, like how that job was supposed to work. I probably don't get it anymore because everything's so much faster. But I'm pumped. Come on, come on. So if you guys have ever been online and like seen me online for like 10 seconds, 
I probably hopped on, did one of these BCDM fights, and logged off. Because some days I have, like, I'm like, I've got 20 minutes. And old Final Fantasy XI, that would not have been good enough for me to do, like, anything. But now at least I can make some progress. I can do some stuff. But um, you do kind of kill that social aspect. Which is a bit of a bummer. Come on, I'm silent, so I guess I just kind of take it. I can use an echo drop, but I think we're gonna be alright. <laughs> alright, Zyde. Never again will I use, lose sight of who I am. You get a little chest you can open. I used to love BCNF chests. I'd get inside them every time. It was important that I, I be in the chest as it opened. I'm like, oh, you want a tar? I don't know. It was, it was like a, a weird thing I had to do. Because if I didn't do it, like something went wrong. You get some capacity points. Wow, that was <laughs> that's actually a lot of capacity points. How many do I get? I think I saw a fourth up there, and I could get two after this. Come on, two more chapter fours. The last two are random. Or is the first, first four random? Yes! Yes! Sorry, that's awesome. I, uh, that's it. I only have to do one time. What's that bow I just got? And where'd he go? Seriously, where'd he go? Fulak's bow. Maybe it's not a real bow? Looks like a bow. 109. That's pretty cool. Neat. Some, uh, some archer will have to tell me. Archer. Some ranger will have to tell me if that's any good. You can warp home and, uh, set up the 109 upgrade. Yeah. So it takes an in-game hour, which, you know, actually just means how long till, uh, the next day. Because you can give them to it like 23 and 24, you're fine. So I like to get it started as soon as possible. So by the time I get the 119 stuff, the 109 is ready. I can plop it on. Oh my god, that was close. I almost dropped my drink. My heavy coffee. How long has this been going on? That took a lot longer. It's been like 30 minutes. That took longer than I expected. Mostly because I didn't have that outpost warp. So normal is very quick because you just charge out there. Like I could go do another one right now and be done in eight minutes. What am I doing out here? Oh, yeah. So, let's go talk to her and see what uh, items we need. That'll probably be all we have time for this time, though. That's a little bit of a, a, bit of a bummer. But maybe next time you can... Uh, we'll do the, the upgrade, the 119. Which, I mean, I could, could probably do off-screen, too. You guys have seen the 119 upgrade process. That's where I, you know, merit for a little bit. Spend those merits on an avatar battle. High-tier avatar battle. Try desperately to survive that. And, uh, you know, get some, get some pages from the six to, six to ten range. Spend thousands of millions of gil on the upgrade parts. No, they're not too bad. So, let's see what we need for this. Um, now this is an artifact to 109, so this is basically the cheapest thing you can do. The relic pieces are so much more expensive. Artifact. Top ogres, that's me. So I'm gonna need Scarlet Linen Cloth, that's like 20K, and Damascene Cloth, that's like nothing. And then a bunch. So the other thing is if you have an upgraded version of these from like Limbus, like the one uh, plus one version, you only need five of those pages. Unfortunately, they're like one of the easier things to get. That's gonna be awesome. After I care, C plus two is really 20 is really cool. These are actually the most boring <laughs> out of the pieces, to be honest, but uh, I always really enjoyed those pants. I, th I think they already have like accuracy plus 10 natively. It just it just enhances avatar accuracy. I'd just be really sad if it's like plus two or something. Plus two accuracy. The one was Damascene Cloth and Scarlet Linen Cloth. Because I should have done the Damascene first. Scarlet Linen, here we go. 20K? 30. We're gonna try and undercut you to 20. As you can see, my money is draining pretty significantly because I bought this weapon. And. Weapon? And something else. Oops, I forgot the Damascene Glove. Oh, the body, the relic body. So, because it was a standard relic body, nothing special about it, I never upgraded it at all. It cost me two Jungo Nango, whatever, <laughs> jade shells 
the like hundred piece from which one was the Junko Nango? Winders? Maybe I don't remember. From Dynamis. Now those are a lot less than they used to be, but they're still like 400k. And then two items. Oh my gosh, it was kind of ridiculous. That were like 700k and like 400k were like these special items. It was absurd. So this is it, guys. This is all I had to do. Then I can go try and sell my stuff. Where where are the pants? I'm sure some of you are like, no, not the pads. Why don't upgrade the pads? Nope. My wardrobe? Nope. My case. This is the only problem, and I can do a search, but if I spell the Vogue spats wrong, I won't find them. You can search your inventory now, because there's so much crap that we all have. Evoker spats. <sighs> I've got to get the pieces back. This aspect of Final Fantasy XI has not really changed. I still need to go through a million menus to to do anything. All right. Where are the evoker spats? Yes. Last night I was trying to figure out the relic piece and could not figure out what I was doing wrong, but I, I wasn't handing all the items. But I was looking at it and I couldn't figure out what I was missing. Everything seemed fine. Am I seeking a party right now? What, how'd that happen? Yes. All right. All right. So let's just take a look. Let's see how much the 119 is gonna cost me. Yeah, I, I would like to peruse. I wanna peruse, stop making fun of me. Which, yeah, is going to have to wait for another day, which is unfortunate. Siren's Hair and Exalted Lumber. I want to say the Siren's Hair is like 100k. Somebody actually mentioned on the channel, uh, I don't know if I got to comment back, that I can, like, grow that with, like, monster growing in our, like, special own little beach area. If those words don't make any sense, it's because I don't... I haven't checked it out. I haven't looked into it at all. But if I can get stuff like this, I might as well try. Um... Let's check out what the Exalted Lumber is looking like, too. Hmm. People are still sounding for uh, capacity points parties, but uh, they obviously only need certain people and not a summoner. 140. So I'm, I'm running out. I can't afford to just money my way through the next job. I've managed to kind of survive on like one one sold item for a long time and I'm running low I'm gonna have to farm for some gold oh my god did I just say that oh that's disgusting I am so I apologize farm for some gill I've been playing too many games with gold lately I I would like to humbly personally apologize to everybody that is watching this that was uh I'm disgusted with myself what else the sirens Siren something. I can't even continue. It's over. Siren's hair. 100. I knew it. We're going to try for 90. But yeah, see, I'm under a million now. That's so sad. Alright, we're going to walk away. Anyways, guys, uh, that's all I got. Working on the 119 pants. I'll quick go to change. I'll quick do that. Let's go change the summary so you can see where I'm at. Um, I'm going to need some suggestions from you guys on extra pieces of gear. Earrings, neck, back pieces. Because I, I don't really know where to start with that stuff. Um, got a couple pieces I'm not too upset with, but obviously could use a lot of work in other areas. And that does hold back my, my summoner as a whole, so we got to work on that. Um, but you'll see in a moment. Anyways, thanks for checking this out as always. Uh, like the video if you liked it. Definitely subscribe if you're new. This is <laughs> a series I've kind of like started recently. It's not even really a series. Just like occasionally I do some Let's Plays of Final Fantasy XI at 99. Just doing some 99 stuff. The next one might be me just charging through Dynamis trying to make money again. Um, because that is a real problem. Darn it. Let's see how this summoner's doing. Let me know if you guys are playing Final Fantasy XI still or... Uh, just kind of miss miss the old girl. What is that body piece? Oh, I never actually equipped it. Guys, this is a beautiful moment. Oh, that's cool. 
That is sweet. So yeah, this thing. Whew, man, I love that thing. Super pumped. I've got this right now. That's useless. I'm the brutal earring. Come on, are we being serious? The evoker's ring is still sweet. I'm, I'm happy about that. The collar's pendant. I, I'm decently happy about. Um, it seems pretty solid, but probably there's other options that are better. Moepa, moepapa, moepapa stone. Uh, Could probably use some work. Obviously, this is I'm replacing this with the pants right now. Boots are sweet. Have always been sweet. Still sweet. These gloves. Uh, always kind of a never worn them kind of thing. Not too, not too shabby. Could be better, but not too shabby. Obviously, the back, back piece sucks. But this, that's pretty sweet. I'm gonna have some pretty low recast timer. I'm really excited to check out Summoner 119. Do some stuff. Probably charge through, charge through Dynamis with Sub Thief. Anyway, seriously, guys, thanks for sticking around. Um, more videos coming every week. I'm, I'm trying to stick to my four videos a week schedule, and I think I'm gonna do it. But it has been kicking my ass trying to get four out each week. I may alter it slightly, so I might just change the schedule up a little bit. I'm still gonna do four a week, but like what four they are, I don't know. All right, guys, thanks again. Uh, I'll see you guys for the next one, and uh, thanks for sticking around. Peace. As always, guys, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, you should totally think about subscribing. I've got videos coming out twice a week, and if you like this one, there's at least a chance you'll like some of the others that are very similar to this, so live dangerously. Let me know what you guys thought about the video in the comments and other videos you'd like to see. And finally, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Hunting for Games to keep up with all the latest stuff. See ya.